The fact is, these days we are inundated with information. I remember how exciting it was in Windows Vista, I think, that we could display the start menu, type a keyword, and have the computer find a variety of applications, files, or settings. Over the years, the functionality was enhanced to where it even would search the contents of email. In some ways, in Windows 8, we took a temporary step backwards. Now, don't get me wrong, it was very easy to just start typing on the start screen, if people knew that they could do that, and Windows would perform the search. What made it more difficult, though, was that we then had to specifically select what type of content we were looking for from the panel on the right-hand side of the screen in order to see that type of content displayed. It was just an extra step, and if you didn't know to do that, sometimes you thought you couldn't find what you were looking for. Windows 8.1 provides consolidated, simplified search. When we type, a variety of items are returned, including applications, settings, and files. In fact, it's now better than before because it also can perform internet searches as well. So how does all of this work? Well, it couldn't be easier because we really don't have to do anything. From the start screen, we just start typing. Let's say that we're looking for something to do with our monitor. The search panel displays on the right side of the screen. We can see a variety of options, including things that have to do with operating system settings, like projecting to a second screen, or choosing when to turn off the screen. If we look carefully, just above the text box, we can see that the default is for Windows to search everywhere. But we also can display this drop-down and choose to be a little more specific. For example, we could say we only want it to look for Windows settings. Let's try a different type of search. Let's erase monitor and type in something a little more tasty like, oh, I don't know, let's try cucumbers. Obviously, as we type, there are no settings that have to do with cucumbers. But let's go back to the Everywhere option again. Now we can see that it's showing a document that we have that happens to be in your Chapter 2 Working Files folder. But we also can see some internet results. Things like cucumbers and onions, cucumbers on eyes, and cucumber nutrition. So this gives us much more depth and breadth of information that may go far beyond what we simply have located on our own system. Of course, this all-in-one searching makes it faster to find exactly what we're looking for. The good news is we can even personalize how Windows 8.1 searches. Let's go ahead and do another search. Let's say that we're looking for PC settings. We'll simply move back to the top of the screen, erase cucumbers, and enter PC settings. Because Windows 8 is smart, we don't even have to finish typing. It's going to automatically suggest things that it finds, and in this case, PC settings is completed with us only having to type two letters. We'll go ahead and give that a click or a tap to display the PC settings screen. From here, we want to move to the left-hand side of the screen and click or tap the Search and Apps category. The search panel is displayed by default, and here we can work with a variety of settings. First of all, we can clear our search history, if for some reason we don't want to have our search history included with this profile on this particular device. More importantly, we can come down and do some different types of things. We'll talk a little bit about Microsoft advertising when it comes to the security chapter. But let's move down to where it says Use Bing to search online. Bing is the Microsoft search engine, and therefore Windows 8 can use that to display those online or web results that we saw when we did our initial searches. We can turn this feature on or off. In addition, if it is enabled, we can then also designate how we want our search experience to work. This includes getting personalized results from Bing that use our location. In other words, if our device somehow can let Bing know where we're located, it will share that information so that things can be more personalized. We can also get personalized results without using the location information, which you may prefer for privacy purposes. And of course, we can also choose not to get personalized results at all. If we continue to scroll down, we see another new option that's called Safe Search. Safe Search helps us control the return of adult content when Bing shows search results from the internet. There are three different options we can choose from. Strict filters out all formats of adult content, including video, audio, and text. Moderate filters adult images and video, but not text. And of course, off provides no filtering at all. It may be important 
if you have children that use the computer to make sure that each of their profiles has this setting set appropriately. We'll go ahead and choose Strict. Once everything's set, we can go up and notice a new change that is also available with 8.1. If we move our cursor all the way to the top of the screen, we can see that PC Settings currently has kind of a revised title bar that includes both a minimize and a close. If we're truly finished, we can click the X to close the window, just like Windows on the traditional desktop. The improved search is one of those enhancements that may not be the most earth-shaking thing we experience as far as changes go, but every click we can save and every time we can fine-tune Windows to work more closely the way that we prefer to work, it makes for a better and more enjoyable experience. Being able to see all kinds of results, including internet searches, just by typing from the start screen can add to our enjoyment of the overall computing experience. And that is an important enhancement.